Anti-franchise. Now, I, I don't want to make this to just to sit here and bash franchise or anything like that. Like, I think the franchises definitely have their place. Um, and it just depends on, it depends on the, the type of person you are and where you are ultimately with your career and, uh, and, and, and capital, capital resources. So, um, so what I want to get into though is a little bit about my story, uh, my experience with, with franchise and why I built Ironclad the way, the, the way that we built it, um, as, as really a franchise alternative for, for, for really business owners that are either just getting started up or already, already in motion, already in, you know, in play. So, um, so to kind of put that in context in 2015, I bought into a franchise and, uh, you know, it's, it, it was, um, you know, I was like 30. Five years old and had had a, had a career for a while in financial services where where I did pretty well, uh, but basically like live live this life where I kind of spent most of uh, most of the stuff I made. I did have some saved up, but pretty much put most of what I had saved up um, into a franchise. And uh, and and really, when you buy a franchise, like the, the or you know when you buy a franchise, you need that franchise ha has to have like one of two th things. Either like a really well-known brand, like think like like McDonald's or Burger King or something like that. Like like the brand is so well known that you're going to get customers as a result of that, and that you know that they're going to be doing advertising on your behalf. Um, and so you either need to have that, or if it's a newer kind of a franchise, they need to have like the best marketing and 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 uh, and, and sales processes to ensure that like if you actually you know invest money into their company into their franchise system. Um, that they're going to actually provide the resources to make sure that you get customers. So that's that's really what it like. Like the systems and the processes are great, right? To give a to give a great experience to the customers, we want to have that. Um, but nothing happens if you don't get customers, and that's where this franchise that I bought into was sort of uh, was sort of weak. So I got into it in 2015, knowing about how powerful. Um, uh, Facebook marketing at the time was working. Like you could run ads on Facebook and and. Um, and, and I knew that that worked, right? And so that's really what I wanted to tap into. And this franchise was pretty much against doing that. They wanted to do SEO and grassroots more, more uh, guerrilla marketing, right? Where you're putting door hangers on people's doors, putting things on people's cars, um, you know, just, just basically stuff that like made you feel kind of like, uh, like kind of like the, the lowest of low of, uh, of, of people like you feel kind of like a scumbag going in a parking lot and putting up signs right so um, so I that that wasn't what I had signed up for and um, I want to walk you through the process of what it's like so 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 it, I when you, when you sign up for a franchise um, the first thing that happens is you have to do this this FDD franchise disclosure document it's all this legal stuff and then you sign a franchise agreement um, this thing binds you to a lot of different things. There's a lot of rules that are required, um, and not you know non-competes and all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, you know um, you they, 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 you pay a you pay a um, so once you sign that you pay a franchise fee. So you pay this upfront fee. So on a low low end, you know you're probably 30, 50 grand um, to enter into a franchise. Uh, j that just that, that that's just for the right to to like sort of buy that that territory or that location or whatever that is. Then you come down. Uh, part of the part of the fee is you come down um, to their headquarters and you go through a training for for a weekend or, or three or four days, uh, depend not not a weekend but three or four days, um, depending on the franchise. For the one I did, it was it was three days, and um, and. In that, you basically get taught all the systems and processes and all that sort of stuff. From there, from there, you you um, you you're sort of like left left to your devices. You, there's a lot of stuff that that uh, that you know your your all this uh, equipment and all the stuff that you need to do for that for that franchise. All the, that that all comes in that has to come in through certain vendors. You don't really get to choose what which vendors um, because the franchisor has all these deals where they're making. A slice of every single thing so so like everything has to go through through their system and none of it's really cheap right so and not not to say that you need things to be cheap but it's like that that that's a the, these are costs you don't, you don't necessarily like think of as you're going into it um, then once things really get going you're, you're launched and everything these these royalties start kicking in and they are whether or not you make money so if your business isn't making money 
they're still getting their royalties for you using their brand. And it's, an, it's a certain amount of money and they're not driving you to customers, right? And so, so that's, that's kind of how, how a lot of it is. Um, and I did that all the way through 2015. So I started at the beginning of 2015, right to the end. And, um, you know, worked, and, I, and I was actually still, I had to uh, continue to work on, the, on the, um, my previous career so that I could just continue to drive, drive, drive money in. So it was a very, uh, very grueling time. Ended up being, you know, $140,000 uh, loss for that business that year. Um, and so, you know, it, it was uh, certainly like a humbling learning lesson, but what it, what it really got out of that was, was the, uh, the power of marketing. And so that's what, that's what really like that, that pain of going through that, that pitfall, that's what I want to make sure that you guys don't, you know, go through. Um, and as a, as, a, as a result of that, it, it, it forced me to, uh, to really want to be a great marketer. And so through that experience, I was able to, um, to, to buy a, a gym and, uh, and then become a great marketer. That didn't happen overnight, it took me a while. And uh, you know, basically 2016, 17, 18, 19, now 2020. Um, so, so a lot of time and a lot of money spent in courses since then, you know, is, and, and in ad spend. So, so at this point, you know, we have a very defined process in getting customers. Um, I, as you could probably tell, that's, that's really a, a, a hot button for me is if you are gonna be a franchise or you're gonna help people, you have to get them customers. That is the most important thing. That is the lifeblood. Like leads are the life, lead, not just leads, but people showing up in your door. That is the lifeblood of your business. If you don't have that, you don't have a business. And so, and so, uh, so when we go down the list of like the things that, 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 that happen in a franchise on a parallel to what we do at Ironclad Group, there, there are defined processes on both sides. So, so working with us, you get the same type of defined process. So in the franchise world, you know, you got a big binder and uh, full of all kinds of stuff. It was all, you know, maybe, maybe they do it different now, uh, but none of this stuff, uh, you know, was on online, um, online or anything like that. Like, so to so get access to defined process, the way we do it is different, but you get all the tools on every aspect of the business from, from, uh, from, from uh, facility layout to staffing, to equipment, to, all everything that you could possibly think about the, the whole process and cu customer acquisition onboarding the process the experience that they go through everything that's all that's all part of uh you know like how to sell everything like like week well weekly uh weekly meetings to make sure that that, that that you're getting up to speed all of that so that that's all that's all the same and and honestly like what i brought here is actually from a fortune 100 company which was my, you know, my previous career. So, so the defined processes that I, that I noticed that were in the franchise were the same defined processes that I had gone through in my career prior to getting into the franchise world when I was working for a fortune 100 company. And so we just followed certain processes. And so that's what I do in the gym world. And that's what I teach our clients are these same processes. And we follow the same, the same methods that the fortune 100 companies are doing, um, in order to generate amazing results for people. Um, so really there's zero advantage to, to go buy, you know, pay a bunch of money for a franchise when you can get access to it right through here. Um, customers, that just depends on the franchise that you get. Some of them are gonna get you, some of them will help you get some, some might not. I've noticed that with a lot of the, the, the courses and things like that that I work with now, I know that there are, there are uh, franchise owners um, who are paying uh, agencies like mine in order to, to work with their clients. So their clients are, the, and the clients are paying. So it's like, like the gym is paying a franchise fee plus a fee to a marketing company, right? So it's like, you kind of probably don't need the franchise, the franchise or if, if you have a brand, there's no need for a franchise. If you have a brand you like, really no at this stage is no need for a franchise because we will get you all the customers you need um, so <clears throat> franchise should give you a known brand that 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 should that should obviously help but um, but a lot of people like to have their own brand and if you look at the trend of things nowadays 
we do we, like like society as a whole, especially here in the United States, is trending toward uh, the the anti brand, right? So so we're not we're not getting you know, people are less less likely to want things that are that are that are like global brand type of stuff. So you want your own unique brand. So that that's that's really another strength of ours is 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 like we want we want to give you the tools to help you 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 have your own unique brand and we want to help you you know leverage your brand. Um, <clears throat> there's no like like the FDD right the franchise disclosure agreement the, the initial fee the royalties they just like for us is a very low barrier to entry it's just, there is a setup fee to work with us um, you know it's it's very minimal it's enough to make sure that you pay attention though um, and so then we get into like branding again we don't we're not requiring anything here they require you, you use certain branding certain uniforms everything like we'll recommend we'll give you ideas on, on on like how to how to have your staff and everything for uniforms and things like that but it's not mandatory um uh then there's a then there's the uh uh you know as far as processes and a franchise they are required here if you don't if you want to do your business your way like that's totally fine. We're not, we're not going to tell you how do you have to run your business. We're going to give you ideas and tools that if you want to use them, that's great. If not, that's, to, that's, that's totally okay too. I will say that like when you do work with us, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's like my own business kind of, you know, I really want you to succeed. And so I'm really like, you know, like, like in there coaching and like working with you just, just the same way that, as like, as like, the, the experience that I had at that Fortune 100 company where, where, where it ended be in those first five years, um, I had somebody in there really coaching and working with me to make sure that I was successful there. Um, and so, uh, you know, the tools are there for you and the franchise they're required for us. They're just, they're, they're available. Um, required, uh, the, you know, we don't have required vendors. There, there are certain, there are certain firms that, that like kind of make sense to use in, in our industry. Um, but we're not, we're not getting a cut off of any of that. We're going to just get, give you good recommendations and obviously you're going to make a choice from there. Um, and then we get into royalties. Like how do we, how do we get paid versus how to, as a friend, fr most franchises are getting paid in a couple ways. They're getting paid a flat fee if you're not hitting sales. And if you do hit sales, they're getting, they're getting a few fees, right? They'll list that they're getting 6% or 5% or 7% or whatever, but there are other fees on top of that. There's branding fees, there's marketing fees, and the marketing fees are like, that, that's like them like paying somebody for SEO, right? So that adds up, and the one I was in that would add up to 11% of gross revenue, of gross revenue, right? So. That's when, when we really dice that up in the, in the, in the fitness model, especially the micro gym space. Um, it, it's just, it's just not a number that people can, uh, that, that, that gyms can handle. I still own a gym. And so I know the numbers, I know what it takes and I know what, what you need to have to, to, um, to make sure that you maximize the, the, the profit out of that gym and you can't be paying exorbitant amounts of money to a marketing company. So that's why we built ours in a way that would be in alignment with, with, uh, with, with your business. So what we do is we help you be profitable on your ad spend. So really we net out marketing to be a zero sum or you actually profit on the mark marketing dollars within the, within the, within the first week that you start marketing. Right? So we get it fast. Um, and, and, and that's, that's, that's the, and we do that by helping you command a higher price point for that initial experience that people get in your doors. Right, so so we do that by teaching you a certain process to follow, so that you're able to actually command that price and deliver a, a amazing value. And the people that you get as customers end up being more grateful and stay longer. So um, that's really the you know what you know. Like like I said, there are a lot of great franchises that are out there. I'm not here bashing them. I'm just here trying trying to tell you that. Uh, that if you're somebody who kind of likes to do things your way and you like your own brand 
and uh, and, you, and you feel that that like like you you've, you've seen these other franchises out there, and maybe you've thought about like, huh, I wonder what it would be like if I actually like would I make more money if I was with this franchise or not? You wouldn't, right? And what it comes down to is your unique brand is that that's 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 you, and we want to support that, but you've got to get customers, and so that's what we're that's the that's the main that's the main thing we're gonna fix right away, and then. We'll work on fixing the other things too. If you've seen any of my other videos, you, you can see how how I how how we fix all those other other um, all those other holes in the funnel too in your business. Um, so we work on that on a regular basis to make sure that your business uh, gets really dialed up, dialed in as fast as possible, and you get full right. So that's uh, that's it for the the anti franchise. If you want to learn more about about uh, about what we do, uh, make sure to go to ironclad.io. And, um, and then you can reach out to us there and we'll be able to, we'll be able to get on a call with you and see if it's a good fit to work together. Um, you know, for us, we want to work with the right type of gyms. It's gotta be, you know, it's gotta be somebody who, uh, you know, you know we, we work with yoga studios and things like that too. So I don't want to just only say gyms, but we, we want to work with certain types of people who we know that we're going to be able to get along with. We're going to be open-minded. We're going to, we're going to take our advice and actually implement it and run. And, uh, and, and they, you, know, you just really got to want to grow. So if that's you, definitely, definitely get a hold of us and, uh, and we'll look forward to meeting you soon.